and we got a one, a two, a three, hey now, Metal Mike, video five of the day. Right now we're out in the garage, right? We got that stuff from that, uh, that buyout. Let's go through it together. Even a better rundown yet. Let's do it. So I'm going to prop you up, guys, here. You're going to always bear with me. Remember, we always just shooting from the hip. Nothing's ever scripted. I know that I'm going to come out here. And I'm going to show you these items. We're going to just do a better rundown than what I did earlier. Here's just a nice old stool that I spotted in the corner with some old books on it. And I thought, hey, we got to get that in on the deal. This came part of that $60 deal. It's missing one spindle. But look at the paint on it. Beautiful oak. Maybe even a different type of wood bean. I don't know my wood so well. But no, it's not rotted out on the legs right here. This is a functional piece. Nice piece. Okay, let's go get that big tub. And then I'll go through it in front of you. See if we can't shoot a nice video here. Metal Mike, always jumping, right? Always trying to find something cool. Got the old Shakespeare. I say, well, what are you doing, Mike? You're just showing me the stuff you already showed me. No. A lot of the stuff, yeah, you've seen. Let's see. Does this still work? Oh, hell no. Nothing. Oh, stunning. Got a nice spin dial on it, little AM, FM. It's got the antenna. No longer working, but it's pretty cute. I don't see any brakes on it. Does it have any value? Don't know. What's a fun piece? That was in on that lot. Oh, right here we got that ammo box. Couldn't find any markings on it before. I was at the house. I was hoping it was German. Beautiful oak wood, though. Look at this. Look in there. That's nice, huh? Look at that latch on there. It's cool as hell. So, just look it over real quick, see if there's any kind of markings. I don't see any. Man, I just feel like it's German. I don't know what that green, though. Anyway, anyone knows, let me know, guys. I'd like to be right on it, though. That'd be cool. The German ones are usually so heavily marked, though. Hmm. Anyway, cool. We got 20 on that. Trying to move so fast, I tripped on these old fenders. This is what I'm getting at. Look at that. That's an NSU fender with that ornament on the front. I'm going to put that bike together. I got all the parts, supposedly. But right now, I'm just trying to unclutter, shoot a little bit for you guys. Here, now we can show get you a nice shot. When I get all the bike pieces out here, and then we'll do a nice quick rundown. Oh. Still rattled a little bit there. Almost bit it, man. Got tangled up in them damn things. Here's the seat. Pretty well rotted. Nice skeleton. Don't know if it's. Looks like it fits. Yeah, that's about right. Ah. Got the forks. Pretty cool, huh? No marking, a little bit of chrome on them. These handlebars are rad. Look at that. Gotta love it. Then the two fenders, which we got. This is a cool piece. All right. A couple duffel bags, eh? This one, Marine Corps. Not that old. Nothing special. 
not part Marine Corps either. This one's kind of cool. Nice World War II one. I'll show you guys that. Nice insignia on it. It's got the name. It's got the custom name. This is even better here. Look at this. Oh. Nice. Nice duffel bag with the strap. Sling this over your shoulder. Still very functional. It's got the shoulder sling. It's got the flap. Nice. Threw those in on the deal. So those were bonus. It'll go with the countless others. We'll fold these up nice later for storage. Now I already showed you guys most of this stuff. Here's the basket that I just wasn't able to go through. There's nothing too spectacular in here, but let's see what the hell we, what we got. Shit. An old pheasant. Don't ask me. I have no clue. There's no chips on it, though. Good mid-century piece. Whatever. Don't ask me, guys. It's part of the disease. I'm telling you. But this one's cool. If I didn't just break it. That's what sucks. Sometimes you just do something stupid. This is really cool. This is just an old bowling little glass piece, but it's a lighter. Lighter's not working, but there's no chips, no breaks. Made in Japan, 1962, dated even. Kind of a fun piece, right? Not big money, maybe 10, 20 bucks. Five bucks, low end. Yeah, we're estimating again, but at least they're realistic. Pitiful little radio, five bucks, you know. Maybe you could sell it on eBay. Don't know if it works. What's it got? It's just AM. Pitiful. I'm really kind of down on radios. Unless they are something spectacular. This pitiful crystal bear. With that I just broke its ear off. Don't ask me. <laughs> mm -mm. No excuse there, brother. What's this called? A nice board though, and I do have the pieces, which I will dig out. Nice, nice board. I think I can sell that and get something on eBay for it. This hopefully is a good hit. I think it is. It's pretty elaborate. Another flea market, home piece here, private collection, whatever. Clean this up. Just a nice little garage mirror. This was hanging in the garage. I had to have it because I knew the old man had been using it forever. Now it's going in Bubba's. Bubba's junk. It's a nice little piece though. Um, this clock. Pretty clean. Nice, nice old clean Seth Thomas. I think I can get 40 bucks, maybe 60 bucks for it. Maybe, maybe make all my money back just right here. I saw this on Craigslist. This is really clean. If it works, that will happen. We'll be able to recover all the damage right there. This belt I grabbed, I don't know why, it just had a real nice old brass piece on it. I didn't want to look it over too much, I thought maybe it was military. Looks like it could be. I would bet it is. It just looks like a military waist. Look how small that waist is even. That's got to be, brother. No markings on it though, but that's what it looks like. I'm a sucker for these. Right? Vintage. Can't get a dustpan like this anymore, guys. I got about three of them. Whenever you can get these, grab them. These are a cool piece. Uh, a cast eagle. Can't have enough of those, right? Bolt that up on the old cabin, whatever. A slicing knife. Had to have that, right? Don't ask me. Don't ask me, guys. Here we go. This is a nice piece. Giant. Frickin' pipe wrench. Nice, old school. Got two of those. I went through all the tools. These were the two oldest pieces. Another one. 
Not big money tickets, but you never know. These are always fun. I've seen a lot of guys, they'll take these, they'll just oil them up, and that's all they sell. And they oil them up real nice, clean them up real nice, and really bring out the natural wear. People love this stuff and are suckers for it, especially guys. Really cool hammer. Look at that. Freaking love it, man. Look at the wear and tear on that. Beautiful handle. Nice piece. Right out of the old timers. Tool box. Metal cutters. We got two of them. Hey now. A couple of these, eh? Right. Fancy guys. Remember, I told you today. Sucker for the old sticker. I'm sure it don't work. But we'll flatten it. An old can. Why did I grab that? Because it was full of safety pins. Yep. Got the bug. Nice old Panasonic flip clock. Could work if it does. It's a decent piece. No breaks. I know it's old. Those are sharp. Versus ass trophy. Right? Pitiful. Here you go. Popcorn served now. Just was speaking about getting one of these this weekend. And, well, I think I dropped the one piece, but I think that's, we're good to go. <laughs> I've been wanting one and now we got one. Nice. And the tub, I think, is worth a little bit. Let me go back over here, see if there's any more smalls show you guys no just some bike parts and that is really pretty much it of course I got the rims and I'm sure you guys can't hear me but we shot the video for the hell of it got it a little untangled out here put this bike together remember I said I'd go over it again I guess the two fenders. So, 145 bucks total for the, the junk you see on the table here with the bike, the pheasant, this, the clock, <laughs> the pitiful knife, um, this cool cardboard tub, ammo box, this, flip clock, junk, popcorn, mirror, what else did we get, a couple bags, here's the rims for that bike, and we've got that old Art Deco industrial uh, cabinet right there, uh, a milk can, a couple pry bars, that old motor, Whew, fingers crossed that I still think I know what I'm doing, metal mic, always junking, always hoarding, always just trying to make a buck looking for the cool little piece until we find it let's just keep out there and keep digging eh hey now